Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Happy 4th of July. Well, as promised, we were going to do the giveaway for this here, this diddly bow here. Um, on a video a while back, it was the camo guitar video, I announced uh, there was an unboxing from a gentleman named Alex Lechner. He sent me this box, and inside of this box was this awesome deadly weapon weapon of mass destruction here this diddly bow and um yeah this was an awesome gift and um, we, we said that we were going to pay it forward as a gift to one of you guys out there the comment with the most likes was going to win so i went back to the video and printed out the comments and i just wanted to read a few of these uh before we announce the winner here um yeah i could go i could go i could go way back way back but I'm not going to go way back, way, way, way back. I'm only going to go way back. Um, oh, I need my reading glasses. My hip reading glasses. Uh, Trail Traveler said, gorgeous sound. Jonathan Thomas 8557 says, cool guitars all around, especially that diddly bow, or should I say diddly bass. Awesome video. Good luck to everyone in, on the giveaway. Two path guitars. I have flipped that hinge around. He's talking about the hinge on this one here that has the whammy bar. Um, just mounted the plate to the end of the box. The whammy bar sounds interesting. Okay, good. Uh, Amy or M Jean five eight three two. This is so exciting. You wait till the end of the video. Let's see here. Uh, there's probably stuff I'm missing. One, one of the things I said in the video is because there's so many intricate little things in this thing here. Oh my gosh, dude. There's The more you look, the more you realize that there's just stuff in here. There's, you know, the two tones of the fret uh, board here, like right up here at this at this here where the, the, the wood changes. That's actually the harmonic where the, uh, the note changes. Little subtle things, you know. Uh, one of the things I missed was this thing. I wasn't sure what the heck this was. I thought it was like a little thing to put the, the your strap through. But somebody pointed out that this was a slide. So, yeah. So, you know, I want to leave it on there for whoever gets this um, to, to be as the builder intended it for there. So, so, I guess that's a slide there. I really like this idea here. But there is just so much intrigue and interest. The more you look in here, these bottle caps, bottle caps, the reflector, the paint job. My gosh, the paint job alone. Um, signature. Um, yeah, just the, 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 the attention to detail, all the corners and stuff like that. Yeah, this is the handle. Come on. That's so awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hurdy Gurdy guy says, nice diddly bow. However, it is not what you would call steampunk. Speaking as one who really gets in, got into it years ago, this is more of a subgenre, uh, diesel punk, more industrial type. I know who cares, right? Give it some gain. Make it gent. Make it gent. Or de gent, I guess. I don't know how you say that. D-J-E-N-T. De gent. Um, B476816 said, that's what I call a gnarly bow. All right, that's what you call a gnarly bow. Um, okay, so that's that one. This one here. Okay, yeah, so the next page of comments said, Good aim on the mosquito. I just hope the sensitive insect lovers don't jump on you for smashing that sucker. By the way, I'm almost done with my first build. You've inspired me to jump into this. That was Coach Strider. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, I'm not, I'm not going to read that one. Because this is a rated G program here. Um, Kurt3625 says, Hey, Dell, how about a B-bender? Thanks for all of your, video, your videos. Love what you do. Dude, I want to do a B-Bender. Absolutely going to do a B-Bender. One of these days when I get around to it, I'm going to do a B-Bender. I mean, there is uh, there is a video of a guy doing a cigar box guitar B-Bender, and it's freaking amazing. Um, W-Y-V-E-R-N Teeth. I cannot spell that, or I can't say that. It says, what steampunk starry night... Oh, that steampunk starry night guitar is awesome. Talk about inspirational. Amen. Love. Oh, Alex. 
Uh, so Larry Sorensen, 7801, says, Alex, I love your steampunk blue guitar. Um, okay. So this, this page here has got the winner here on it here, but I'm going to start on the back side here. So we're going from the bottom up. Uh, love the camel box and the steampunk guitar. Was wild looking. Looked looked like something from The Walking Dead. Um, that was David Dockery. 5392. Half Ass Production says, that was really awesome of that guy to spend sent, spend the time to build you that guitar, and it's awesome that you're going to pay it forward. That's a really nice, he calls it an Italy bow. But the one that I really liked was your Camel Box. That's a beauty. Uh, Aim Gene 5832. Alex makes such cool guitars. Good luck, everyone. Um, Birdwood CBGs 71 says, I love that you are experimenting with all sorts of cool things. Wonderful stuff. All right. So the third runner up here was Norman Roberts, 6680. He says, love that, love that diddly. But seriously, Dell, unleash that whammy bar on us. I'm filled with anticipation. All your instruments sounded great. Carry on. All right, well, the video I, I did of building this guitar with the whammy bar. Sorry, I keep banging. Bang. Uh, this guitar here has got the whammy bar on it. And I didn't do a demonstration on that video because I didn't have a bar for that thing. But the, the video after that showed that I put a nail in it and, and it worked. So what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll put, I'll put that little dude right here into the amp right here and let you hear what that sounds like with the whammy bar. So stay tuned, kids. Uh... Actually, there was that was uh, the fourth runner-up. The third runner-up was Larry Taylor, sixty-one ninety-two, and I love Larry's um, thumbnail, dude. He looks like Albert Einstein. It says that diddly bow would work great next to my old tube ham radio. I liked the color and the imagination that went into it. I was hoping to hear that whammy bar. See, everybody's wanting to hear the whammy bar. Um, you can buy an expensive whammy bar, whammy and roller bridge setup if that's what you want. Keep up the good work, Dell. Always coming up with new ways and ideas to keep us anticipating your next move. Um, thank you for that, Larry. Um, the second runner-up is John R. B. Murray, 3417. It says, well done, Dell. You must have made that young man's day with your excellent review and expertise. All right, Alex, I hope you're listening to all these comments on, on uh, compliments on this here diddly bow. All right, so the winner, drum roll. The winner is Windseeker50. And I went to his website and I found out his name. Fernand. Fernand. Brault. All right, so his, his comment, simple comment, man, but straight to the point, dude. Straight to the point. It says, a Mad Max Deadly Bow. All right, come on, guys. You, you got to give it to him. You got to give it, dude. Mad Max, you, you know, the Deadly Bow is kind of a play on Diddly Bow, right? Deadly Bow, Diddly Bow. Get it? Yeah, dude, come on. That That's the winner right there. Okay, so congratulations, Ferdinand, Mr. Windseeker50. Dude, it's up to you, all right, to email me. And we'll work out all the details, dude, and we'll get this bad boy to you. Real quick, I, I did want to um, do, a, do a little, um, what do you call it? A little. I have, I had, oh, here it is. Ooh, dang it, I keep banging that thing. I just put a light up here. I moved the light from the ceiling down a little bit closer so I could get more light on, on my projects and stuff. See where this this wood here changes? Can you see that? The wood changes the color. That's that's the note right there. Little de little attention to detail.
seriously, thank you for participating. Thank you for the comments. Um, thank you for your support and all that you guys do for this channel. Seriously, I do appreciate it, dude. Um, so Alex, Alex Lynchner. Oh yeah, his comment um, and his and and his username here is user dash f e eight track a four h c three x. Okay, I'll, I'll say it again. I'll say it slower so you can write this down. So Alex's handle here on YouTube is user dash f e eight the number eight t r four h c three x there it is right there okay guys um okay as as promised i'm going to tune up this guy here and let you hear a little bit of the whammy action and then i'm going to blow up another firecracker for you <laughs> So here's the nail, and I just bent it and stuck it in the hole. And you gotta be careful because that, that point is sharp. And if you leave it, if you leave it pointing up like that and leave, leave it on a seat, somebody sits on it, they're gonna they're gonna get the point. But anyhow, this is what I do here. When I, I'll just set it like that and I'll use this muscle underneath my pinky and just set it there. Set it there. And then um Kind of just just subtle. It's not. It doesn't do the dive bomb. It just kind of gives you like the tremolo. gimmick i know i know but th doesn't this guitar just sound like a banjo my gosh <laughs> all right guys let's set up another firework and i'll see you in the next video cheers Congratulations, Ferdinand.